Pat, uh, obviously in that first game, you didn't really see the floor. Tonight you get to see it. Just how good did it feel to have those shots go in and, and to make a contribution? Uh, it felt great. I mean, I think a lot of you guys know me. Um, and I think sometimes, you know, if I were to ask you guys what you thought my favorite, my best quality is as a basketball player, I'd get a plethora of different answers. Um, the one answer I don't think I'd get is uh, just being a competitor. And I think this time of year for me to remind people of that, um, it ain't always going to be the same. In today's NBA, they try to put you in a box. You're a shooter, you're a defender, you're a little bit of different things. And so for me to get back to just showing people I can do and have an impact on the game in different ways. Um, and this is a time of year that I love. This is a time of year that I grow to. It's a time of year where if you look back since I've been in Milwaukee, um, I always try to rise to the occasion. So uh, just using that fuel uh, to fuel the fire and making sure that I have my teammates' backs and put my best foot out there because at the end of the day, you know, there's that uh, old question, do you love to win or do you hate to lose? I hate to lose. I'll do anything I can to make sure that my teammates and I don't lose. It ain't always going to work, but um, I'll always put my best foot forth uh, in a plethora of different ways to make sure that um, I can try to, you know, help our team win. Those few games against the Hawks in 21, uh, Brooke really seemed to step up. Just how much do you guys kind of trust and know that when Giannis isn't in there uh, around the rim, that Brooke is going to step up and be that guy for you? And Brooks an all star. Brooks had two all star careers, as far as I'm concerned. So um, to see him and put him in a position um, to have success, uh, especially with Giannis out, um, you know, he's our defensive player of the year. A lot of us thought, you know, he should have gotten it. But at the end of the day, what he does for this team uh, never goes unnoticed. Sometimes it may be underappreciated uh, by the general public, but we always make sure we show appreciation to him and um, for him to be able to be a beast in the paint for us. Um, you know, it reminds me of that Atlanta series. It reminds me of that Brooklyn series that year. Uh, and that's one of our strengths. And uh, I think I don't think we always utilize it as much as we should. But um, when we do, uh, he shows why we do. Uh, Pat, when I see a catch high, keep high, I think of you. But I think uh, a few months ago at this point, Joe Ingles has lobbied that he uh, developed the catch high, keep high. And he was the first to do it. Um, one, what's your response to that? And two, just w what do you think of his contributions to? Joe's like 45, so he probably did it before I did. Uh, you know, I mean, I'm only 30, so uh, I'll let I'll let him take I'll let him take credit for doing it. I'll I'll say uh, he's pulled it out a few more times this year than I have. So uh, if he wants credit, the old man can have the credit. Uh, but uh, you know, it's fun fun to uh, find new ways to try to get the ball off quick. And when you got guys like Joe, ironically, uh, and Drew passing you the ball, uh, you know, you just want to make the shot wherever, which way you can do it. Uh, with, without Giannis, you guys said I think 81 was a franchise record the first half, uh, tied an NBA record for threes in the game. Did you guys have something to prove after the way game one went and going into this game? Yeah, I mean, we definitely had something to prove. We lost game one. Uh, you know, I think we're competitive guys. Uh, a line that I've used uh, and thought of, uh, you know, near the end of the season, last few weeks, month, months, uh, that – you know, I think I've pulled out over the last few days after we lost is, uh, you know, we're a bunch of nice guys, but don't take kindness for a weakness. And I think for us, um, we wanted to make sure we came out and, and we showed that chip on our shoulder mentality that we have. Uh, you know, we got a lot of good guys, one of them standing right over here to my left, right? But um, we'll rip your heart out if we have to. And so I think for us, getting back to that mentality and making sure that we play with that chip on our shoulder, that's when we're at our best. Uh, and I think, you know, game one, we got hit in the mouth, credit to them. Um, but I think we responded tonight, and if anything, um, you know, we're looking forward to continue to try to respond and, and building on our good habits and our competitive nature and our brand of basketball. Hey, Pat, you guys had a franchise playoff record with 25 threes. You had six yourself. I guess just how contagious were those for you guys, and what was the difference, do you think, from game one to game two when it was kind of a struggle uh, Sunday night to shoot those? I think everyone's going to look at the box score and see the difference in threes uh, that we made tonight versus the night before. But I think it's the way we got them. I think it's the energy in which we shot them. I think it's the energy that we brought to the game prior to even making them. Um, you know, we were getting open looks tonight, but 
we were doing so much other stuff. You know, we were making it harder on them on the defensive end. We were getting out and running. We were playing with pace. We were being physical. We were having Brooke dominate the paint. You know, we were doing things that we're accustomed to doing. And I think for us, making sure we continue to do that, we got guys that can shoot. You know, we got guys that can make a ton of shots. But um, when we do those little things and then you have a secondary punch, like making threes at that, uh, you know, at that rate, then it's we're a tough team to beat. Uh, hi. Um, so, a lot of Chinese find that saying that you have shown a lot, like a great confidence when you decide to shoot the three pointer tonight. Um, and will this confidence uh, like be kept in the following game? Because like um, that needs a lot of courage in lo a lot of situation. Yeah, I mean confidence is huge. I think confidence you get from your teammates. Uh, you know. We're a team that we feed off each other's energy. We feed off each other's, um, you know, playmaking abilities. We feed off each other's confidence. And so uh, having confidence and having self-confidence is, the, you know, where it all starts, right? If you don't believe in you, who's going to? Uh, and then for us, um, we believe in each other. So if you believe in yourself and your teammates believe in you, uh, that's all the belief that I think we need. And so uh, I think we showed that tonight. And when you're shooting the ball with confidence and you're playing with confidence, I would say more than just shooting, uh, you're going to put yourself in a position to be successful.